guy with the knife was saying, just kill me, just make it quick. Dramatic moments at Seattle Center yesterday. A man pulled out a gun to stop a man accused of a stabbing. The man with the knife told police that he was with his five-year-old son and the boy's mother when he had been discussing the on and off relationship with the woman before he reportedly stabbed her. King 5's Vanessa Mashanya spoke to a witness who saw what happened just after the attack. In the Taurus hustle under Seattle's greatest icon. Got it. Come on in. Eric D'Angelo is in the business of making moments. I work here. I do pictures with, uh, with tours. Ooh, both of you. Uh, both of you. Rain or shine, his moments are predictable. Oh, right there. Yesterday afternoon. Did it take place here? Like yeah, right here, right here. His lens captured something no one expected to see. I saw a guy with a gun walking backwards and another guy uh, with a knife in his hand and his hands were all bloody. It's not worth it! That commotion was because of this, a man walking with outstretched bloody hands yielding a knife under the space needle, a Samaritan using a weapon to slow him down. The guy with the gun just kept saying, put down the knife, put down the knife, put down the knife. Probable cause documents name that man as 29-year-old David Lee Morris of Fort Lewis. They say he stabbed the 28-year-old mother of his child at nearby Mod Pizza. Today, a clothes sign hung in the window. I didn't know what to feel. I didn't really know what was going on. I just, I just kind of saw what was happening at the moment. Documents say that the pair's five-year-old child watched as Morris stabbed the victim. She was taken to Harborview. The hospital confirmed this afternoon that she died. Today, families still came to Seattle Center and still made memories. Though the unexpected moments Eric captured will not change the way he feels about his city, it will be a while before he will shake their memory. There's occasional security running somebody out or, you know, that happens, you know, once or twice a week. But uh, it's all minor stuff compared to this. Vanessa Mishanya, King 5 News. Police arrested the suspect near Thomas Street and Fifth Avenue. He remains behind bars tonight. Probable cause documents say that the stabbing victim had an active order of protection against the suspect.